According to one of the definitions, baseline is a copy of the project plan which provides a target against which we can track cost, schedule and resources. To add a baseline, we should go to the project path and then select maintain baselines. As you can see on the screen, we have no baseline assigned yet, so let's add it. And we have two options. We can save a copy of the current project as a new baseline, or we can convert another project to a new baseline of the current project. In most of the cases, the first option is what we want. So let's select OK. And now we should wait until the baseline is created. Great, it's done. As you can see, the baseline appeared on the list. Now we can rename it. Let's name it the original baseline. And we can also change the baseline type. So we have a couple of options here. Let's make it an initial planning baseline. So the first baseline of the project. And now we can close the window. We created a baseline, but what we should do now we should assign it. So let's go to the project bar again, but this time choose Assign Baselines. Here we have our project name and the project baseline. Let's select the created baseline, which is Project 1 Original Baseline. And we can also create User Baselines. So the difference between a project baseline and user baseline is that you can only have one project baseline and it should be the same for the whole duration of the project. But user baseline, we can create as many as we want to compare the project at some stages which are important for us. So we can, for example, create a user baseline after one month of the duration of the project and then after every month. So let's say after 12 months of the project duration will have 12 user baselines, but only one project baseline which was, which, which was created at the beginning of the project. And for the user baseline, for the primary one, we will also choose project one baseline. We can close it now. OK. The baseline is assigned now to our project and to better see it, we'll add some columns. Right click on the bar and then select columns. Here in the available options bar, select find and type BL as baseline, project start. It appear on the list here, double click it and also BL project finish. Find next. Once more, OK, this one, double click it, close it, and we will move it down on the list. So after the start and finish dates, and select OK. We will resize the columns. And what we can hear, what we can see here now, is that we have the start column, the finish column, and also the baselines. So the dates of the baseline are exactly the same as our start and finish date. And this is because we don't have any progress for that project now. The same we can observe on the Gantt chart. Those red lines are the actual dates and those small yellow lines are our baseline dates. If we will right click on the gun chart and then select bars, we can see that here in the column name we have primary baseline. So this is this line for our tasks. We can see that color yellow is here. And also when we will move a little down we can see that we have also selected baseline milestone. So this is this yellow dot for our milestones.
Let's close it now. OK. To see how the dates change compared to the baseline, we can do some changes to the project now. Let's, for example, make the duration of that detailed design task not 15 days, as it is now, but 30 days. Also, let's change some relationship. So for that materials delivered, let's add some luck. 10 days to the current relationship. And now let's schedule the project. Press F9 on your keyboard. Then click schedule. And as you can see, the date changed here. It is the best to be observed on the Gantt chart. So those red lines are our current dates and those yellow lines are those dates for the baseline. So those yellow ones will never change unless we change the baseline on the assigned baselines bar.